Yo, what's up everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I have two awesome money plays that you can start using today. But before we get into it, man, make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, become a member of the Wolf Pack. Shout out to Jay Rodriguez, the winner of the Xbox tournament. If you want to take part on the PS4 tournament that's coming up, link is in the description, man. Become a member. You will be eligible as long as you sign up whenever I drop the links for you guys to go sign up for the tournament. Uh, it's cash prizes. So take advantage of that as well as giveaways whenever whenever you become a member. We're working on all that. If you notice, I don't have a sponsorship in the beginning of my videos. Sponsors are kind of falling off this, uh, this year in Madden. There's been a lot of complaints with the MMO company. Won't be dealing with those guys. The one previously, uh, they just disappeared. I don't know what happened to those guys. So... We're right now we're on a, a little standstill as far as Madden. I think it has to do with the big drop off in Madden 20. A lot, a lot of people just stop playing, uh, but it is what it is. So we're going to be in the Steelers playbook. Now, check this out. I showed you guys one of these plays previously. We're going to talk about it. It's going to be the last play we talk about. I'm going to talk about it again, but it is awesome against a certain defense and a certain defense that people like to use online. But the first one I'm going to talk about, and this one's classic, it's going to be called the tight end in. Remember, the Steelers playbook. But this play, the tight end in, is in other formations. Now, I love to run this play whenever I would use it in Madden 18, 17. It's the same thing. It does the same thing. Re the zones react the same exact way. No change, no difference. I would run this against cover two a lot. So against cover two defense, this is going to be the play that you want, okay? So the only thing I'm going to do is put A on a streak. Now, all I have to do is read the right side of the field with that corner. You see that corner on the right side of the field? Just have to read him. If he's going to be in a cloud or, or a hard flat, if he's in a hard flat, then I'm going to look for Elliott on the wheel route. Now, granted, play like this probably isn't going to help you if they're heavy blitzing, unless like you motion Cooper over or a gallop over and then snap the ball while they're at the line to help with some press protection. But if they're running like Tampa 2 or just stock cover 2 defenses or however they're running their cover 2 against you, you can run to this play. Now, what's cool about this is if it's a hard, if it's a cloud flat, the wheel route pulls the cloud so far back that the drag will get 10 yards guaranteed. But if it's a hard flat and they guard the B route because they drop into the hard flat, then you're gonna hit this wheel route. So all we're gonna do is watch the right side of the field right here. Boom, boom, he goes with the B route and then I get this guy and then I go up the field. Like I said, I used to use this play a lot in, in Madden 18, 17. Not necessarily, not 19, not 19. It was 18 and 17 because in 19, they took it out of the playbook. The Saints playbook because it was in the Saints playbook, but now it's not. So here we go again. Hard flat, then that means this guy's open. You see what I'm saying? You're just reading that corner and seeing what he's doing. If he stays down waiting for that drag, then it's the wheel route over the top. Just put A on a streak. Read this again. Same thing. He stays down in a hard flat. I catch and run. I was gonna, I should have just possession caught that, but you can catch and run if you got the space. So A on a streak. It's simple. He goes back in the cloud. This guy's going to be wide open for like 10, 12, 13 yards. Depends. If you got good juke moves, you could probably get more yards. But me, I'm horrible. I'm atrocious. Boom, boom, boom. He stays down for the hard flat. I come and hit this guy. And then I just, you know, do my little spin move. Get my free yards. You know what I mean? So you can throw this play. I'm going to just run it a couple more times so you guys can see it in action. He follows that uh, wheel route in a cloud. And I want to say the soft squats do the same thing. They they match against that wheel route the same way as a regular cloud flat does. So here we go again. Like I said, this plays classic for me, bro. Just like that. I mean, you're getting yards. Now, not the it's not you it's not like a one play TD type of play, right? But it's very dependable. That's what I like. This is gonna be a hard flat. And then you just hit this guy if it's a hard flat. And that's easy TDs if it's Elliott. So if you're using the Cowboys and you already know what time it is, it's going to be a one play TD for that guy. Okay, so that's that play. Now, I showed you guys in a previous video how to throw the gun trio against uh, cover three. Wait, in the gun trio, the Steeler dig against cover three. I'm, I'm, I'm confusing myself, right? And the way I told you guys to set this up was, right, you know, I should, there's different ways you can set it up. But what you want to do is... You want to move this guy out, put this guy on a in route, put B on a streak. As long as you have A on the in route, you should be okay with the Y route. 
right over here in cover three. That's what I showed you guys previously. However, this play right here against cover four is like a one play TD. Do you guys remember the PA read against cover three? Well, something happened with the update, I guess. I don't know, unless it's been in the game because I haven't used this play. If someone that's been using this play against cover four quarters and those defenses, let me know uh, because it glitches out the defense. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So Steeler dig against, let's do cover four quarters. Let's match the principles. Let's go uh, nickel normal cover four quarters. And you just leave the play the way it is. And then you're going to look for Y over the top. So leave, leave uh, the play the way it is. That guy takes off. And I just throw it over the top like this. Let me show you guys what I mean. If you remember throwing PA Reed against cover three from the double Y flex off week out of the Saints playbook, it's the same thing. The safeties do the same thing. Check this out. He's supposed to drop back, right? But then his assignment changes and he takes off. His, route, his defense gets glitched. And that little mistake that they make right there is a pretty much a one play TD. Now we ran the nickel normal version of that right there, okay? We ran the nickel normal. Let's go ahead and run it another cover four quarters. Now against cover four drop, you're gonna need a post shot play. You're gonna have to use something other than the Steeler dig for cover four drop, because it won't work. But cover four pops, cover four quarters, uh, it does the same thing. Dime normal, let's see what this does, okay? This is cover four quarters, the, running the play stock. Takes off again. Now right there, that's kind of like my fault. I should have did something else. But you see what he's doing. He's leaving the route wide open. There are other cover four quarters that we're going to go ahead and do random right after this. Right there's a TD. There's other cover four quarters in here that it gets even more open, bro. Like it's crazy. Cover four palms. Let me show you guys what I mean. It's only when we come across cover four drop that the defense doesn't work. But if you have the PA uh, post shot plays, that goes over the cover four quarter. I mean, cover four drop defenses. So Steeler Dig will do random cover four. So you guys can see what I mean. If it's drop, it's not gonna work. You'll know when it's drop. But right here, look how he gets behind it. You see that? The guy didn't even care about the route. Let me show you guys an instant replay one time so you guys can see what I mean. In certain cover four quarter defenses, the guy doesn't even pay attention. I remember I told you it's worse. He doesn't even care. And this guy's by himself. By the time this guy reacts on the zone break, it's too late. The ball's already in the air. It's, all, it's on its way. But I want to show you guys that I can tell when it's going to be cover four drop because of the way they react. So like right here, cover four drop. That's cover four drop. So you have to hit it underneath. You're going to have to hit them underneath. So if it's cover four drop, you hit them underneath. Now what's cover four drop for people that are new? Let me explain this to you guys real quick. The cover four drop usually is in the three, four odd or it's in dollar or it's in big dime Sam will or something like that. I don't know all of them, but I'm going to show you guys what cover four drop is. So against quarters and palms, it gets wide open, wide open. Against cover four drop with the contain, you see the dollar three, two, six version. It's not going to get open. So what we're going to do here real quick is you'll see nothing gets open, right? It's underneath that uh, cover four shell. So what you need to do, and I don't know if there's one in the Steelers playbook. I haven't really uh, labbed it up too much. But when someone's running the cover four drop, you need to find a PA post shot play. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Wait, hold up, hold up. I have an idea. I don't see one here. I don't see one here. Trips week. Don't see one here. Someone knows if you know in the comment section, the play that I'm talking about, put it in the, in, in the comments. It's not going to be in tight. I know that. I know that much might be here. PA double post. We could try that. I don't I, I don't think it'll work. It might work, but that's the route on the left side of the double post. Might work, might not. Depends on how I set it up. So we'll try it one time. Let's see. Uh take this guy, put him on an out route. We want everybody going from right to left. I'm gonna get sacked. Yeah, so right here, this is what I mean right here. So you see what I'm doing with the double post. What I'm doing is I'm sending all the routes besides that post route to the left, okay? And then I'm waiting for this X route to come over the right side of the field behind uh, those routes. I should have double teamed that guy. And then I just wait for him to clear and I throw it over here to the right and that's how you beat cover four drop. So we have one play beaters for every cover four in the Steelers playbook. So the Steelers have an awesome playbook that you can utilize to beat like cover two, cover three, cover four consistently 
if you want. You blend this in, create your own little money scheme, and you are good to go. Make sure you drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. Love you guys, man. Peace.